Hello everyone, this is the great Lord and Master, Osiron the Eternal, or the artist formerly known as the great Roberto, for a second video in one day. Normally I, I wouldn't do this, but I just I sort of these two things happened at the same time. But this is what I'm going to call the true Tetractus. Up there. Now, the, in case you don't know what that is, um, you know, Pythagoras had a you know, pyramid shape, and he, that's one of the ways he um, justified calling 10 the perfect number. And you see that here in this bottom corner. You got 1, 2, 3, 4 that for the bottom row, and then 5, 6, 7 for the third row. The second row is 8 and 9, and then top is where 10 goes. The only thing that makes this tetractus even remotely cool or viable or anything is the bottom row. That's the only thing you can say, except for one other thing that I'll get into later with the Jews, but the only cool part about this is if you add up 4, 3, 2, and 1, it becomes 10. It's like, ooh, that's the only thing that that has going for it because there's so many other flaws with it. No, and the biggest thing is on the top, the very top of it. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. What the fuck? That takes two digits. That's not one. That's not one digit up there. That's two. So that's the same thing as saying 4, 3, 2, 2. That's it. 4, 3, 2, 2. Which would be 11. But see, that's two digits to make that. So that's not, that, that, that's not congruent with the structure of that pyramid at all. For that to be true, it would have to be this, the true Tetractus, which actually has two phases. This phase came, came to me last night almost spontaneously. I've been working on this for a while, but I had it on the back burner. In this other version here, I had drawn up at one, one other point, but I sort of just let it fall in the background, and then this sort of just popped in my head. And what it is, it, from the top, when you construct this from the top down, you get zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's congruent. That's all single numbers. That's all single digits. We've already seen how zero can be a one. How zero is a one. The state of zero is one state, one condition. And then the nine single digits below that. Now, if you do that like that, this row reduces to three for three. This sec uh, third row reduces to 12 to become 3, and the bottom row reduces, uh, adds to 30, and then reduces to 3 for 3. So again, like on the true tree of life, we see 3, 3, 3 to form 9. And this row, uh, unreduced, it adds up to 45, which reduces to 9. Now if you do it the other way, you can build it, this, you can build this from the corner over, you can go on the bottom row, 0, 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, and then 9. If you do it that way, instead of being 3, 3, 3, all the numbers reduce to 6, 6, 6 instead. So 6, 6, 6, by way of 15 on the top two. So then, so, so then what you do is if you take those two, two constructions, if you construct from the top, and then the bottom construction, if you fuse them together, you see what we get here. The blue represents the blue, the red represents the red, and they're fused together. Zero is nine, one and eight, two and seven, three and six, four and five, five and four, six and three, seven and two, eight and one, and then nine and zero. And then when you mash those together, what do you get? You get nine, 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 nine. And nine times ten is ninety, nine and zero again. So that is that. Now, the Jewish version has another equally fraudulent version of the, of the, the, the Tetractus. They use uh, yod Hey vau Hey to get it, which is another one that's just completely has no substance. I didn't draw the uh, yod Hey the, the, the Jewish symbols, but what I did do is I, I, I wrote the values in Hebrew of what the yod Hey vau Hey is. And Yod, as you can clearly see, isn't 1, it's 10. Uh, if, if it was really 1, it would be Aleph, not Yod, Hey, Vau, Hey. So that, that would be Aleph, Hey, Vau, Hey, not Yod, Hey, Vau, Hey. So Yod is 10, Hey is 5, six is, uh, Vau is 6, and Hey is 5. 
and how that applies to the rows is the bottom row 4 becomes 26, the third row becomes 21, the second row becomes 15, and of course the top, the top row becomes 10. Now that adds up to 72, and that's another. And, and still, you can, even with the deceptive math, the fraudulent math, you still can't get away from the divine nine, as the tree of death and stagnation shows, as everything shows. But that comes up to 72, and some people use that as a justification to prove how great Hebrew and the Jews are. Yeah, sorry, afraid not. That's just another. That's just basically an example example of showing how. If you use toxic math, you can hijack proper math and make it look good. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's out of sync, but it looks congruent because it's still one, remember. It's still one, but it's just a one that doesn't acknowledge zero. Because zero must be acknowledged. Because if you, you know, I've said this a thousand times, but if you don't acknowledge the zero in the root system of numbers, why would you ever think you can use it later? There is no such thing as ten if you don't have zero to pick from the pool of numbers. Consider this, you know, like a pool of numbers you get to pick from. Well, if you don't acknowledge zero and you construct the thing using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, where does that zero come from for the ten? It doesn't exist. You can't use it. If it's not down here, you can't use it there. That's the simplest thing. So this is this should be very short. The true to tractus, because it's really self-evident, you got this, you got one. The construction from the top down, you could say it's feminine. Uh, the construction from the top bottom up, you could say it's masculine. The fusion of the two and the product of the fusion is 999. And I'll even do one more thing just in case you, you know, there's a 9, you know, 9 times 9 10 equals 90. <laughs> okay, thank you.